Hey everyone, this is Nick with Gold Coast Flooring, and today I'm going to show and explain where you should be dumping your wastewater if you're a professional carpet cleaner. So Cincinnati MSD has a really good video on how to find your sewer drain out, or sewer clean out, and exactly how it works, and where to find it when you're on the street level. And so I'll put a link in the description on how to find that. And it's a really, really helpful video if you don't know where to find these things. All right, so here you can see the rules on uh, dumping wastewater, any kind of wastewater. So pretty much it says the background is carpet cleaning wastewater cannot be discharged into a storm drain, street, gutter, parking lot, or other outside area where it could run off into the storm drain system. Detergents and pollutants contained in carpet cleaning wastewater can be harmful to aquatic life in the creeks where the storm drains lead to. So it says to dump it into a sanitary sewer system. And of course everybody knows that a sanitary sewer system carries uh, poop or pee or feces or anything, you know, when you're washing your dishes or anything that you're that contains chemicals or runoff or showers, any anything with soap, chemicals or so here's what it says you can't discharge. You can't dump anything that has a pH lower than five or a pH greater than or equal to 12 and a half. It can't contain solid or vicious substances in amounts which obstruct flow in the sewer system. Like cat hair, if a lot of carpet cleaners don't have filters, um, anything that's flammable, or is a hazardous waste as defined by the state of California. So I am in California. I don't know where everyone else is. Um, maybe if you're in Atlanta, you can dump it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter, but um, in California, they're really strict on the laws and the rules, so, but I think that it's a pretty good guideline to go by, and everybody should do this, so. It says, there are three options to properly dispose of carpet cleaning wastewater, and the options are to discharge collected wastewater at your client's sanitary sewer, so at your client's house, to discharge collected wastewater to the sanitary sewer at your place of business or your house and to discharge collected wastewater at a county septage site, which nobody is gonna do. If you're a carpet cleaner, you're not just gonna, oh, I'm gonna go on my way home to a wastewater site to dump my water. So the best way I found is to do it at your client's house, your customer's house, or if you can hold enough to go to your home and dump it or to a local car wash that you go to frequently. And I'll get that back to that in a minute. And so it says, wastewater tips, here are do's and don'ts. So plan ahead, of course, always, that's what I do. I always uh, look up the home on Google Maps and I look at the street view and I see if they have a sewer, um, a sewer drain, a clean out. That way I just know if I can dump my water there or if I need to plan ahead. Um, a filter, of course, an inline filter or an external filter to catch all that hair and whatever else is in the carpet. Uh, use non-toxic cleaners, avoid using solvent-based cleaners and spotting agents, um, you know, unless you're doing some crazy, crazy carpet cleaning, you know, I think that's pretty avoidable. Uh, don't discharge water at other businesses. So don't, d do not dispose of carpet cleaning wastewater at a car wash or other business without the owner's consent. So it's not saying you can't, it's just saying you should talk to the, the owner first. And that's what I did at my local car wash. Um, he was pretty pissed off because a lot of carpet cleaners just go there and dump without filters. So it's a bunch of hair. And every time it gets clogged up, he has to pay out of his pocket to clear his sewer drain. And so I told him, look, man, I have a filter. I don't do that. Um, everything that's coming out is just water. Nothing's going to build up. And he said, you know what? It's fine. You came in here. You talked to me about it. Just make sure you use my car wash every time you come. And of course I do. You know, I get to wash my van too. So if I can't dump at the customer's house or somewhere else, that's my go-to. And said, um, of course it says, don't discharge to a storm drain. In no instance should wastewater from any operation be discharged into a storm drain or gutter. Storm drains are not connected to the treatment plant and flow directly to nearby creeks and rivers. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more useful tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.